Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, this might be a long one so get a drink. Um, I've got this really adorable little ghost mug um, that my aunt got me from Pound. It was only £1.50. I was like so happy. I was like it's so cute. Like look at it. Look at it. So I've got um, oh my God. I've got a gingerbread coffee in here. Which, yes, it's more, um, I'm going to put this here instead of my bottle because it's more Christmassy, but it's still full vibes. But anyway, um, in this video, I was inspired by a video by How to Train Your Gavin, where he read the whole, like, Goosebumps series um i have never read any of the actual books um i did used to watch some of the series and um, i used to remember watching it with like my sister quite a lot um but i don't really remember that many of the stories just like a couple of like parts of it um <clears throat> and yeah so um these are all my sister's books they're not mine but she's got any four of them um <laughs> to read um so i haven't got that many i've got um I've got four of the Give Yourself Goosebumps books and then I've got six of the like the OG ones um, and I thought I'd give a little reading vlog of reading these to get myself into the spooky season because it's October and I want to get ready for like halloween -y spookiness. Um, so it's currently the 10th um, and I hope to finish these quite soon because I've got some other like horror -y, thrillery mystery sort of like spooky-ish books that I do plan to read um, a bit more later in the month but um, yeah so what I plan to do is read the book um, tell you what it's about give my review and then sort of like rank them at the end um, and yeah so I'm probably going to start with the like the original ones the ones I've got they're not like in order they I don't know like how they're like sort of like so mixed up but <laughs> It's just how my sister got them, I guess. But the first one I got is the tenth of the one, which is the ghost next door. Then the eleventh one, which is the haunted the haunted mask, which I think I remember watching like the the show adaptation of this, and I think this was my favorite like one. I feel like I kind of remember it the most. Um, so I am really excited to get onto that one. Um, that was the eleventh, and then I've got the twelfth one, which is piano lessons can be murder. Also, all these covers are really, I do not like them, but whatever. Uh, this is the 34th, it's quite a big jump, which is Revenge of the Garden Gnomes. So I don't know if there was an actual original one, but I don't know. Um, and then I've got a 39, which is how I got my head, how I got my shrunken head. And then number 55, which is the blob that ate everyone. So yeah, so I'm going to get started on the ghost next door and then i'll be with you soon but also i was going to say i literally i didn't know what these ones were about i thought it was just like another sort of like series like horror land or something but these ones are give yourself goosebumps and i just had a little look at the like the start and um <clears throat> basically as you go through it let me quickly say what the ones i've got i've got um number one two four and five <laughs> It's, just, it's so annoying like why is there not the number three but i digress um so the first one is really beware you oh no wait no this one is um number one escape from the carnival of horror then we've got tick tock you're dead um the deadly experiments of dr eek and night in werewolf woods um and what it is is like like so you read this is such a unique thing. I, I literally had no idea these were like a thing. So it says that like, you read page one and it says go to page two. Okay. Um, so you read page two and then it says to take a closer look, turn to page three. So you go to page three and then it says if you decide to go home, turn to page 10. If you climb the fence to get inside, turn to page six. And then it's sort of like, so you make up your own story as you go along. So like you're sort of like in it which i feel like is such like an innovative and like unique way of telling a story um so i am really really excited to get onto these um but i am going to read the original ones first and yep so 
um i'm gonna go read them now so i might not have my little cup anymore which i'm kind of sad but um when i get to the review i hope to have it somewhere near me just so i can speak about it because i just it's just the most adorable thing ever and it's sort of like a uh, little review a little cup thing but it's got like marble in and like pearlescent and stuff and i just feel like it just is so adorable but anyhow um I'm going to start on The Ghost Next Door, and I will be with you very soon. Bye-bye for now. Hey. So, um, after filming that, I started reading some of The Ghost Next Door, um, and then I sort of went away for a bit. I did some other stuff, and I just I just came out of the bath, and that's when my hair was sort of like a bit fluffy and wet a little bit. But anyhow, um, I finished it <laughs> when I was in the bath. Um, also, this cover is one of the most disgusting things, like, that is hideous, I'm sorry, that is, oh my god, I just feel sick. Um, anywho, <laughs> I gave this book, um, like, about 3.25 stars, I guess, um, it was like, average, just a little bit better. Um, basically, we follow our main character, Hannah, um, who is, like, her friends, like, go off to, like, camp and she was like left like during the summer sort of just like bored and like lonely and stuff but then a new neighbor comes um and um it's called danny um and she's like oh someone else to talk to um but he like seems sort of like weird like his family just like moved in or like like all of a sudden and she doesn't know like how um and like he sort of like disappears sometimes and just like he's going to be like very pale and things so she's like i think you're a ghost i think you're a ghost love um so then she's like i'm gonna set out to find the truth of danny's ghoulishness or -ness, notness um and yeah that's all i'm gonna say because like i don't want to like ruin any of it but there was like a main like plot twist that i kind of did piece together and think that was what it was gonna be so i'm kind of happy that i got that right but like it wasn't telegraphed like it was still like a bit like okay but like i did kind of got the impression um and then like there were some like other things about like a little bit like repetitive and then some like things are like I know what's coming out like, straight away um but there definitely was like a sense like mystery and intrigue in it um it wasn't bad it wasn't necessarily like read that good um also i didn't know like it's talks about like sort of like arson and like fire and um like death a little bit and i didn't like really know that was going to be in it these sort of like books um but it was handled okay-ish i guess um so yeah so that was all right um <laughs> And now um, I've just read the first chapter of The Haunted Mask, um, which um, already seems quite interesting. So I'm going to read some more of this. This Carly bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carly Beth, I mean. Um, although, it's honestly so annoying. Like, oh, it's just, ah. Oh. <laughs> I was so annoyed, Sabrina. At lunch today. Why did Chuck and Steve think it's so funny to do things like that to me? Trina was silent for a moment. I think it's because you're so scarable, Carly Beth. Scarable? You scream so easily. A lot of people get scared, but they're more quiet about it. You know Chuck and Steve. They don't really mean to be nasty. They just think it's really funny. Well, I don't think it's funny at all. Carly Beth replied unhappily. And I'm not going to be scarable anymore. I mean it. I'm not ever going to scream or get frightened again. All right, love. Um, I thought I was gonna really enjoy this one, but at the moment, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm like on page eighteen. It's. The, I I don't like the characters. I don't know. I I mean, okay. I need to obviously get through more of it to get more of the story. So. What I said might just be. Irrelevant, but yeah, <laughs> Carly Beth is just. And why is it Carly Beth? Like. I have to keep saying Carly Beth in my mind while I'm talking it. Like, that's just like such a long name. So I just finished The Haunted Mask. Um, I'll probably give this like... I 
2.5, maybe round out to 3 on Goodreads. Um, I really, I thought I was going to like this one the most. The, the plot, the story is okay, like it's quite like interesting, um, but the character is just, it's not the one. I basically feel like Carly Beth, Carly Birch, who is literally like a, like a scaredy, like, pick me girl. Um, <laughs> she's literally a pick-me-girl um, And she's like Oh everyone's scaring me all the time I'm gonna scare someone for a change So she goes and buys this like Ugly like This hideous ugly mask Like this thing Look at the cover that's honestly so vile But um And then the shopkeeper's like No I don't want to sell it to you And she's like Just sell it to me So she buys the mask And she puts it on And then um And then it's like It changes her voice It changes her like Persona a bit and stuff and um and she just kind of like goes around halloween like scaring people and then afterwards when she's got all her sweets and stuff she's like okay i'm gonna take my mask off but it didn't come off and uh, there's no neckline or anything and stuff like that and yeah that's what i say because i don't want to spoil it but i didn't really like it um the characters were all unlovable they were just a bit like i don't know it just, I, I just mm, not for me but uh, i've really wanted to enjoy these books i thought they were going to be like good but anyway um i'm going on to piano lessons can be murder now so let's see if that's better i hope so mr stein um why does every type of shoe fud literally trainers fud whatever Everything thuds. It's just a fud, fud, fud all the time. I'm like, there's other noises. <laughs> hey. So I finished um, Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. And I think I really enjoyed this one. This has been my favourite so far. Um, I think it's mostly down to the fact that it's first person, whereas the other two were third. Um, so I feel like you're more like immersed in the story. Um, the characters aren't necessarily that lovable, but he like the main character Jerry is definitely more intriguing, and um, you kind of like, feel for him and stuff. Um, um, <clears throat> again, some of the like little plot twisty things were sort of like unnecessary and like okay, I kind of see that coming, but overall the like storyline um I thought was like done very well. It was very like interesting, intriguing, um slightly scary in parts and just quite like unique and yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um, it basically follows Jerry and his parents and their like cat who is like kind of mean, like vindictive a bit, um and they move to a new town. Um, and then he finds an old piano in the attic, um, <clears throat> and his parents are like, oh, why don't you start, like, piano lessons? So he's like, oh, okay. And then, um, at night he hears, like, this sad, like, melody, like, being played. So he goes to investigate it to be like, who's playing this? Um, and dot, dot, dot. And also, um, he starts taking piano lessons with an instructor who is very obsessed with his hands. Like, they're very, like quite obsessed with it and like making sure he's like doing everything like right with them um and why dot 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 um yeah so i really enjoyed this one i ended up giving it 3.75 stars um four on goodreads and yeah the only thing i'm gonna say this kind of annoys me um <laughs> why is that the cover because it doesn't fully ruin the plot twist but it gives quite a good indication and i'm a bit annoyed with that because you don't really want to see that straight away, but anyhow, um, I'm going to go on to Revenge of the Garden Gnomes. And I think now it's it goes from being the UK covers to the like the American ones with something around it. Because it's number 34, which this was quite a jump from 12. But anyway, yes, I'm going to start reading this one and um, give you an update soon. Okay, <clears throat> so I finished Revenge of the Garden Gnomes and I enjoyed this one quite a lot actually as well. Um, again, it's in first person, so I feel like that like just adds to the like atmosphere and in intensive intriguousness. 
Um, but yeah, I quite enjoyed this one. Basically, we follow our main character, um, Joe, and like his sister Mindy and neighbour um, Moose. Um, and basically, um, they're like, they go and get these two garden gnomes from like a gardening shop and they have all like those like ornaments and stuff and they like begin to garden and they're sort of like frenemies with the neighbours um and then the like strange things keep happening and like at night and like sort of like sabotaging like upcoming gardening show and different things like that and then a lot of the time the dog buster and Joe um are getting like blamed for it and then he's like it ain't me so he's trying like sort of like what's happening and I mean <laughs> the gnome just sort of they're alive um but that's what I'm gonna say and yeah so I'll probably give this one the same as my other one 3.75 stars and then uh four stars on goodreads um and yeah I did enjoy this one um, now I'm going to go on to how I got my shrunken head, which is number 39. Okay. Um, so I just finished um, how I got my head shrunken. And this one was like, it was okay. Like it was just a little bit above average. All right. I gave it 3.5 stars. Um, I dropped it down to three on Goodreads. Um, and yeah, it was okay. Um it's not the first person, which is good. We basically follow our main character, Mark, um, who is accompanied to the Southeast Island, jungle island of Baladora, Baladora, um, with Caroline, who is meant to be his aunt's, like, like, uh, like work partner thing. Um, so he can spend time with his aunt and like explore the jungle and stuff because she does like sciencey things there. Um, but then when he gets there, he finds out um, <clears throat> his aunt is gone missing, um, and someone thinks he holds the power to jungle magic and will stop at nothing to get it, even shrinking his head. And obviously, there was other stuff happened. Um, it's written more like sort of like adventure I feel, more than the other books I've read because of like the jungle setting. And there's like sort of like cliffhangers with like giant ants and like quicksand and like a tiger and stuff like that. Um, which I did feel like quite nice. The writing was like sort of like like nature things was a bit more put depth into, which I thought was quite good. Like the atmosphere. Um, the plot was okay. Um, some things I didn't really like that much that went on. Um, but it was it was it was alright. It was alright. Right. Um, you like the ones you're gonna like. You don't like the ones you don't. And it's just it was okay. Um, so yeah. Um, and now I'm gonna go on to my final of the OG Goosebumps, the Blob That Ate Everyone, which is number fifty five. Um, and I will be back soon. <laughs> Some old, like, football card of my sister's. Michael Irving, soccer skills, dribbling. They're not mine. <laughs> I am getting through these tonight. Yes. Um, so I just finished The Blob That Ate Everyone. Um, I ended up giving this three stars. Um, I did really like the concepts and, like, the, like, the main goosebumpy plot thing. Um, but I did feel like it was kind of... Not necessarily wasted, but like the actual story was a bit meh. Like it was, it was okay. Um, basically, we follow the main character, um, Zaki. Um, his name just annoys me. Like I'm like, why is it Zaki? Zaki. Like I don't know what the reason is. It's just something about that just irritated me. Um, but anywho, um, and he has like a passion, a passion for um writing like scary stories especially ones featuring a big fat blobbing i mean throbbing um pink blob um and his friend alex like really loves them but his friend adam is like i don't get scared about stuff and then he sort of like mocks zaki and says like oh you get scared about so many things and like sort of like just yeah like it's sort of like semi-bully but anyway um and then um zaki um comes in possession of an old typewriter 
Um, and then he starts, like, writing his story on it. And then the things that he's writing are, like, coming true. Like, like a storm and, like, being alone and stuff. And I'm like, is it coincidence? Is it the power of the typewriter? Is it the power of him? Dot, dot, dot. So, yeah, I feel like this concept of, like, a, sort of like a magic -y typewriter thing that when, like, what you write comes true um, is, like, really, like interesting and like really like unique and like intriguing concept but i feel like the actual plot line of the story was a bit meh in my opinion also the characters were just like okay and the writing was all right it also it read very very quickly like the chapters are like extremely short and there's like 36 or something of them and like most of the other ones are like 20 26 or something max so i felt like it just it just read quite like quickly and i didn't really get to be as engrossed as i wanted to be but anyway um so that's the all of the og ones that i have that i've read um, i'm not gonna i'm gonna do a full ranking at the end but now i'm gonna get started on some of the give yourself goosebumps one the first one is escape from the carnival of horrors and i don't know how i'm gonna really like review them because you pick the story yourself sort of like as you go through it you decide so yeah but i'm still gonna do the rating and stuff um so yeah I'm, i've been so excited to get onto these like since like a few days ago when i started doing this read and vlog so i have high hopes um <laughs> Didn't work out for haunted masks, but let's see if these are going to be any good. Hello again. Um, I said a little mug will be reappearing, um, and I don't know where I can put it to like show you it, like keep it in the frame. But then that's like a bit. I just pick it up. But anyway, um, after the last clip, I actually read three more books that night. Um, I read them like quite quick succession because um, they were the give yourself goosebumps ones and then I finished the last one like just this morning this afternoon and I want to try and film this wrap it up and then post it hopefully by like six or something um, it's currently four quarter to four so yeah so I should have time but anyway um, so I'll read them in the order I read them <laughs> say them um, so the first one of the give, 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 goose, give Yourself Goosebumps ones was Escape from the Carnival of Horrors. I ended up giving this three stars. Um, with all of them, I did really like the concept of like making up the story as you go along. And then like you're like in it and you're always like more immersive. And um, it was like really interesting. I really like unique concept and I really did like like the concept um and then like at some points where i was like okay i'm just gonna quickly like see if i did this then what would happen if i don't and then sort of just like going around and then i went like back back a bit and they explored a few different like options like if i had done something else uh which was really like fun like interesting to see like how the story would have developed if you went a different path um but yeah so basically that's the same for all of them about how you go around um so yeah, so Escape from the Carnival Horrors. So basically you and your two friends go into this like fairground carnival horrors place and this big owl, the manager, says like, Oh, you're not really supposed to be here, we're opening tomorrow, but then he's like, You can have free roam of the carnival tonight. Um, and then you can either like go like play some games, uh watch like a show, um, go on like roller coasters and rides and stuff. Um, and then like all of them have like a different like twist thing out, like you're not really like supposed to get out. Um and it's like some like weird like different like characters and things um so yeah so i thought it was it was okay it, it was it was okay it was all right it was okay it was yeah it was all right <laughs> um and then the next one was TikTok you're dead i also gave this one three stars um this one basically you're in uh, new york in like a museum and you're supposed to like look after your brother but he runs off and goes into this like time machine thing and then he gets like transported somewhere in time um And then you have to, um, like, go through, like, to try and find him. Like, you need to go to the past or the present, I mean, past or the future. And there's, like, different, like, options and stuff. And, yeah, I did really like this, like, concept of, like, time travel and stuff. I thought that was, like, really, like, interesting and, like, in like intriguing. Um, some, like, certain plot lines I was a bit, like... Mm all right but yeah it, it was it was it was it was it was it was just slightly above average i'd say <laughs> um then the 
number four um, is The Deadly Experiments of Dr. Eek. I gave this one 2.5 stars. Um, basically, you and your friend have gone to like this like laboratory place where your mum is supposed to work, um, but then you can't like find her. And then um, you go like you meet different like people and doing like weird like experiments and stuff. Um, supposed to like like making like, people like turn into dogs or different things like that. And then you can choose like do you want to go like do this experiment or like do you not do it? And then you hear like a voice and you're like oh should I go see what that is or is it my friend because like you split up and different things like that um and yeah it was it was okay some of the things were like a bit interesting um i didn't really like the characters like much at all it was all a bit like yeah but um yeah it was it was okay it was all right um and then the final one um which is night in werewolf woods um i ended up giving this two stars um basically you are gonna go on like a annual family holiday to woods world um and then you find out that your parents friends family is coming as well and they're like nerdy son todd who like you don't really like because he's like kind of embarrassing um and then um, he has like this box of this like, little, little red box of something i can't remember do not care I literally just read it. I do not. I don't even remember what it was. I, I just do not care about him. Um, and but then he's like the like Woodswell's bullies come and like steal his box and then they take it off to, like a campfire thing. So then you're like, okay, I'm gonna go find, try and find the box. Um, and then like, yeah, and then you different go different pathways. You can go to like a cave or different like listen to werewolf sounds and different things like that. Um, and yeah, this one out of all of them, I feel like the actual like decisions weren't really yours because you choose one thing but then it's like oh no da, da, something else like and then you're just like what's really the point then um and yeah i feel like this story was quite hard to follow most of the time um and it was just it was quite like <sighs> it wasn't like really realized or like rational obviously i know it's a story about like werewolves and stuff so it's not it's not rational but like for the context of it certain things just like didn't make sense and it was just like kind of hard to follow and just not really the one the characters were all like unlikable they were like not realized um and the writing was just not really it so yeah um so i know i did these all in one quick succession because that's just I just thought I can't really say too much about it because you do pick your own story yourself but I did really like the concept so anyway um this is the final part of the video I'm going to be doing my rankings um of like where's the best a bit more coffee I love this mug so much it's so adorable um so surprise surprise um the 10th place is Night in Werewolf Woods um, ninth place is the Deadly Experiments of Dr. Eek. Not really that one. Um, third, eighth place, um, which is the one I was thought I was gonna like the most, um, but it turned out just, it just it disappointed me. Which is the Haunted Mask. Um, so yeah, and then um, seventh place is Escape from the Carnival of Horrors. Sixth place is TikTok You're Dead. Fifth. Fifth place um, is uh, The Blob That Ate Everyone. Fourth place is The Ghost Next Door. Top three. Uh, third place is How I Got My Shrunken Head. Second place is Revenge of the Garden Gnomes. And then my favourite one that I read um, was Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. I liked the two like sort of like storylines and it was just it was just quite like intriguing and interesting and like slightly scary some part. So I I yeah, so that was my favourite one. Um and yep. I did really enjoy this, but they weren't like I didn't really like like them that much. But um it was a kind of fun to like, just revisit the goosebumpsy world because I remember some of the shows and just like getting sort of like a little bit of a spooky season feeling. So yep, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye.